Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is around Starlink and huge news that they've updated us with today. It is currently May 5th, 2022 and I received an email around 4am approximately uh, that I saw when I woke up from Starlink and it was on the topic of portability, i.e. moving your Starlink from location to location. So it is now official, Starlink is portable, which is fantastic news. Now there are a few tiny exceptions which I'll cover in this video. But to give you the news straight from the horse's mouth, here is the email that Starlink sent. It says, Starlink is excited to announce portability as an add-on feature for all Starlink customers. Portability enables customers to temporarily move their Starlink to new locations and receive high-speed internet anywhere where Starlink provides active coverage within the same continent. So let's get into the nitty gritty. What does it mean for us as Starlink customers? Well, the first question that always springs to mind is how much is that gonna cost or is this free? And the answer to that is no, it is not free. There is a cost of 25 euros for me or $25 if you're in America. So for me, I'm currently paying 99 euros per month for Starlink. If I want to enable this portability feature, I need to add 25 euros extra per month. Another question that's on the tip of everyone's tongues is how soon will it kick into effect if I decide to enable portability? So in the case whereby you have an upcoming trip that you want to go on, if you jump into your Starlink account and enable portability, how soon will it actually allow me to do it? And Starlink are claiming and saying that it does kick in immediately. So in essence, as soon as you enable the feature, it will give you service right away. Now, one of the main limits to note is that it's only going to work inside your continent. So if you go outside of your continent, you won't be able to receive your Starlink service. And personally, to me, that just sounds like a little bit of a yellow tape issue rather than an actual technological capability issue. But nevertheless, to move on to a smaller caveat in the service, you do obviously need to be traveling somewhere where there is Starlink coverage. Now Starlink do have a Starlink availability map. I will link it in the description of this video or on an info card on screen where you can check your destination and see if there is Starlink coverage in that area. And now before we move on, there is a small elephant in the room and that is around the question of Starlink portability when actually traveling from destination to destination. So what Starlink have said on this issue is that you will have your Starlink service at home, of course, and you will have it at the destination you travel to. You will not have Starlink service while traveling. So if you have it mounted on the back of your van or your camper or your boat, you won't have service while you're actually moving. Now guys, in that Starlink email, you may also notice a link to learn more information in the FAQ page. So if I pop along to that FAQ page and I search for portability, there are a few questions around portability that you may not think of straight off the bat. The first one that pops up is, does Starlink portability replace the need for changing my service address? And the answer to that in short is no. Once you park up or arrive at your destination, you can use Starlink without changing your service address. Only if you're moving there or staying for an extended period of time, do you need to actually amend your service address. So in short, you can leave it at your home address unless you're going for a very, very long time. I'm going to scroll down the FAQ page a little bit until we get to the limitations area to see if there's any other limitations that we didn't think of yet. And there's nothing really there that we haven't spoke about already, but I would like to draw your attention to one of the points here under limitations, and that's the second bullet point about international travel. And it does touch on the point I just made earlier about changing your service address. If you move or go to an international location outside of your home country where your Starlink is registered, and you continue to use Starlink service, if you're there for more than a period of two months, you do need to change your service address. And now finally guys, to wrap up, uh, one of the biggest questions is how do you actually enable Starlink portability? So if you are an active customer, you can enable portability from your account page and it will take effect immediately. If you have multiple Starlinks, portability must be selected and purchased for each location. And when you enable portability, you are charged on your next monthly invoice. Portability is charged in full monthly increments and cannot be prorated. The portability feature and billing changes will be ongoing until you decide to disable it. 
Once you do disable portability, the recurring charge will stop after your next monthly invoice. And the portability will only remain active for the remainder of the current billing cycle. So guys, that is it for this one. This is big news for Starlink and big news for Starlink customers. If you're somebody that does travel from location to location, you can now bring your Starlink along with you. So with that being said, happy travels and I'll see you in the next one.